Hey guys, how's it going? Roman Federico here with Men's Sexual Freedom, San Bernardino campus. I'm the lead over there and we meet every Thursday night at 6.30 p.m. on Zoom conference. Yeah, so I just wanted to take a second today and, and just tell you about my story um, and then just give you guys some encouragement and some resources. Yeah, a little bit about me. So I'm 25 years old, I'm single, I was never married um, and I, I joined Sandals in 2011, got baptized in 2013. Shortly after that, I joined the army. And the army was, it was a pretty tough time for me. Um, I kind of thought I had a grip on who I was and um, just the type of Christian that I was. And, and, and I kind of had these like boundaries that I didn't think I would cross that I was kind of warned about. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not that kind of guy. Um, sure enough, I find out that even though you don't think you're that kind of guy now, we're all capable of, of just terrible things. We're all capable of, of becoming anybody. So what happened was I had this morality line, right? I say, I'm never gonna go over that because that's not the kind of guy I am. I set this, right? I, I'm not gonna cross that line. Um, but what happens is this morality line, it shifts up and down just based off season, based off what I feel like is, is right and what I feel like is wrong. It, like that always changes. The one thing that's steady is God's morality line. He, he never changes. Um, he's as steady as a rock. And that's the only thing that we can trust. But when we try to set this ourselves, we start towing that line. And all of a sudden, we're like, you know what? That wouldn't be that bad if I crossed it. So I ended up crossing some lines, um, went to strip clubs, paid for hookers, um, and just got out of control with porn. Uh, the things I started searching just kept getting worse and worse. And the whole time I thought that, you know, I can get over this. I can stop this. I'm going to do this on my own. I didn't want to talk about it with with anybody. Um, that just seemed embarrassing or it seemed like they wouldn't understand. Um, so I, I tried to handle things myself. Uh, didn't work out. Again, kept spiraling downward out of control. Soon enough, I got out of the army and thank God I heard Pastor Matt talk about in a debrief the men's sexual freedom groups. Um, I knew I had to join right away and um, I did. Next thing I know, my life started changing. Uh, these groups, they really showed me how to work with other men, um, to be open and to be honest, and that, that it's okay to talk about these things. It's okay to be real and talk about what we're really struggling with. Um, and, and that there's steps that we can work on. Uh, like you don't have to take it on all at once. You don't have to say, oh, I'm never gonna watch this again. Cause that's a lie, you're, <laughs> you're gonna. Um, but what happened was I got to take it step by step, little by little. And a couple months later, I started noticing, hey, this is kind of easy. It got a little bit easier. Um, so I just wanted to go over with you guys some of those steps that, that really, really helped me kind of take the next step and for my addiction to become less intense. Um, so, so the main point, kind of my mission statement for men's sexual freedom um, was the whole run from, run to, run with concept. It's, it's very, very similar as Sandals' mission of real with ourselves, God, and others. But this one is run from sin, run to God, and run with others. So Running from sin is just like being real with yourself because you have to, you, you can't lie. You got to really understand like, what can I, what, what is sin to me and, and stay away from it. If, if you're driving down the street and you see a girl running or walking or whatever, don't look. If you see a billboard, don't look. If you see a magazine, don't look. You have to starve yourself, starve your eyes, um, starve those temptations. And over time, those temptations are going to lower and you're not going to be as tempted to to kind of seek those things. Um, so that's the first part is, is running from that sin. The next part would be uh, running to God. So we're, we can't just be no men. We actually have to be yes men. We can't just say no to sin, but we have to say yes to God. Um, what that looks like is I like to tell the story of a boy in a forest running from a wolf. So he's running from this wolf. Um, it's big, it's big, it's bad, it's scary, right? Um, but he can't get away. He's running from hiding spot to hiding spot, but the wolf is still there. The wolf is still uh, seeking him intensely, and, and the little boy's scared. 
The little boy's only hope is to go back home to his father, his, his savior, um, and, and his, ta his dad is going to protect him. So obviously the wolf is the sexual sin. Um, the little boy is us, and the father is Jesus Christ. Our only hope is to run to Jesus Christ. Um, we, we can't fight this alone. If we run from hiding spot to hiding spot, we may have escaped sin for, for a moment. That wolf is still waiting for us, and he's waiting for us to come out of hiding. Or he's, he's waiting for us to like think that we're safe, and eventually he's going he's gonna to prowl on us. So we can't get comfortable going from hiding spot to hiding spot. We can't run from a wolf into another wolf. Um, but we have to run to Jesus. We have to run to God our Savior and ask him for some help. So you run from sin. You run to God. And lastly, we run with others. Guys, we can't do this alone. And as much as we think we can sometimes, we're, we're dead wrong. We need each other. We need to be confessing to each other. We need to be um, open and honest with each other, saying what we're really struggling with and, and just using each other to kind of get this, get through this together. Um, that's the kind of imagery and, and the mission that, that really, really helped me down the line of just practicing this stuff every single day is really, really going to make a difference. So guys, thanks, thanks for listening. Um, I just want to encourage you again talk about this help somebody else get it out get it off your chest and don't sit in the dark and let this control you i just want to give you one more bit of encouragement uh, it's, it's my lifetime verse it's therefore dear brothers and sisters you have no obligation to do what your sinful nature urges you to do for if you live by its dictates you will die but if through the power of the spirit you put to death the deeds of your sinful nature. You will live. That's Romans 8, 12 through 13. Um, yeah, again, we have no obligation. We are no longer obligated. We, we don't need to sin. We're not bound by it. Jesus died for us, and therefore, we can live the way that he wants us to live, to do things right. Um, and if you're struggling, and you don't know how to do this on your own, that's okay. We're all in the same place. Let's come together and, and beat this together, guys. So thanks again, guys, for listening. I love you guys so much. Uh, if you want to find out more information, go to sandalschurch.com slash men. There you can join one of these groups. Um, you can also find out more information, read more stories, or, or get connected any other way. All right, guys, take care. Stay safe. I love you all very much.